Hi friends, today I am going to solve a problem on a board which is subjected to many axial forces. Okay, so let's get started. A brass bar having cross sectional area of 1000 mm square is subjected to axial force as shown in the figure. So they have given the figure here. Then we need to find out total elongation of the bar. Then take E is equal to 1.05 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton mm square. So they are given the Young's molars. So let's write and let's start the solution here. So these are the given data that is uh, cross-sectional area of the bar they given that is 1000 mm square and Young's modulus also they given 1.05 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton mm square fine so now here you can see so what all other data they given they given the loads and so lengths of the points also they given so for simplification so this is a single bar we going to divide we are going to divide into three blocks fine so here block a b and block b c and c d okay so now we have to write a loads on each bar and the direction okay so that is that will make you easy to solve the problem fine see here I'll just close this one you see here so first I'll just close this thing so this is a heavy block and just close it okay so I'll just write it out 50 kilo Newton at point A okay so we should be aware that so before start the solution we need to understand the summation of forces or loads in one direction that is equal to summation of forces on another direction see here you can see it's a left direction right 50 kilo newton is sits in left direction so so what are left direction let's count out so 50 kilo newton plus 20 that is 70 plus 10 total 80 kilo newton which is acting in left di direction right so it has to it has to match the value which is acting on another direction that is so what is other direction is 80 nothing else okay so only 80 is kilo newton so you are clear now so 50 kilo newton 50 20 10 it's 80 kilo newton which is one direction and another 80 kilo newton which is on another direction so now it is satisfying the condition of equilibrium right yeah so that is we must be aware that before we start the problem okay so because these problems will be find the solution only under equilibrium condition so before we start the solution so this is what we need to make sure right okay so next is here see i just written a block a b okay i just close it this one so now what is the value here they given 50 kilo newton i just written the same value here now for equilibrium condition to satisfy the equilibrium condition what is the value it should be same magnitude but it is in opposite direction so that is what i written here right so it's a 50 kilo newton in this left direction but to satisfy the equilibrium condition i just added 50 kilo newton in another direction fine yeah now next is block bc okay so before we start here you see here we have to 
consider the the load here 20 kilo newton okay because it's already it's related to this uh, block so now we need to consider only this 20 kilo newton so you just close this one and just add 20 kilo newton here okay you can see here 20 kilo newton which is acting in left direction so to satisfy this one what is we need to add here so we should add 20 kilo newton opposite to this this load you clear right so th that is what we should be aware that so to satisfy the equilibrium condition so magnitude should be same but it should be in opposite direction you clear right so same way now i'll just close this one now you see the 10 kilo newton which is acting so i'll just write it on 10 kilo newton now to satisfy that one what i should do i have to add the magnitude of 10 kilo newton which is opposing in direction so that is what i added here you're clear right okay so this is what uh, this figure says now after that i'll just uh, uh, added this length l1 that is 600 mm and for bc it's a l2 it's given in meters so i just converted into millimeter same way it's 1.2 in meter they given so i'll just convert it to mm 1200 mm okay fine now it's time to start the solution so now i'll just take a port a b okay or block a b i can say or port whatever we can call it is okay you can say port a b okay for port a b so i need to find out what is what is happening here okay the block a b subjected to tensile load of okay AB subjected to axial load it is 50 kilo Newton okay so this is what it's given here means we can, from this diagram you can understand this is the axial load tensile sorry I can read it tensile load is yes, anyway it's all axial loads but here the difference is tensile okay tensile load so we should write the tensile load not the axial load here anyway it's by default it's axial load but here it's both sides pulling outside so that is we call it a tensile load okay so now to find the uh, what actually we need to find we need to find the total elongation of the bar so first we have to find the elongation of this piece of bar okay so for that so we, i can i can say delta l1 okay this is the elongation just delta l1 you see change in length for piece one or port a b okay so we know that right change in length is equal to p l divided by uh, e a so clear so p is p1 because so because there is many loads here so i'll just take this one and l also one i can take and anyway cross section is the same so I need not to give a a1 okay and Young's modulus also it's a constant okay so now substitute all values we know p1 that is 50 into kilo newton we have to convert it into newton then into l1 that is 600 okay divided by 1 0 5 into 10 to the power of 5 so that is the Young's modulus into 1000 
so we will be getting the value 0.2857 okay so it's in mm this is the delta l1 okay because it's a tensile so change in length it should be in positive you're clear yeah so this is the elongation for the port ab okay same way for port bc i need to find out okay bc subjected to subjected to because you can see here it is a compression so what is happening here it is a compression you can see here right so subject it to compression load load of how much 20 kilo newton okay so same way we can find l2 so that is equal to okay p2 l2 divided by ea so that is equal to 20 into 10 to the power of 3 just convert it into newton kilo newton to newton and this is 1000 divided by so it's the same 0 5 into 10 to the power of 5 into 1000 okay so then after calculation it's coming 0 0.1904 okay so delta l2 but here you can see it's a compression load so obviously it is negative okay this is a negative it's in mm okay then same way we have to find out for part c d okay c d subjected to subjected to compression compression load of load 10 kilo newton okay so same we can find out here sorry it is a 3 p3 l3 divided by ea same way it is 10 into 10 to the power of 3 into it is 1200 divided by 1.05 into 10 to the power of 5 into 1000 okay so now we can see here the value is after calculation so it's coming 0.2095 but it's in sin negative because it is compression clear l3 So now we can find out total elongation of the bar. bar. So that is equal to delta L1 is plus minus delta L2 because it's a negative sign because it's a compression minus delta L3. So that is equal to okay. So we have to substitute all okay in the same way. So or else I'll just make it plus plus here. So if you had all these values, we'll be getting. But when we are adding this one, so anyway, I'll just uh, make it here point. 2857 minus plus means so but here so sign is negative 0 
माइनस पॉइंट टू जीरो नाइन फाइव ओके टोटल एलोंगेशन इज कमिंग इन माइनस पॉइंट वन वन फोर टू सो दिस इज द आंसर ओके बिकॉज हियर दिस माइनस इंडिकेट्स the total elongation is compressed so from this value we can conclude the resultant or the total change in length is in negative it means it is compressed it means the length is decreased it is not extend after applying these loads so length of the bore is decreased so that is what it means negative okay so what is the decrease in length is 0.1142 mm so this is in mm you clear it's in mm okay friends if you find this video is helpful please like and share to your friends thanks for watching